Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. And we are ready, definitely. So, your energies, guys. The Hanged Man, Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, your person's energies, Nine of Cups, King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Meeting Energies, Ace of Swords, The Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, The Focus, Ten of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, The Star, and the Six of, six of Wands, yes, Bottom of the Star, a wish can be granted we have another wish granted energy with the nine of cups uh, for uh, some of your persons this is success triumph victory moving forward even the opportunity to overcome some type of challenge we have the six of wands and we have also the five of wands uh, your side of the energies it can be a touch of competition as a feeling to be honest um, Competition that can be something that you need to face in order to be with a person. But for others of you, the competition is something that uh, pertains to other individuals so that they can be with you. So, kind of a coin flip. We have the opportunity to fulfill a wish that can be truly the chance to meet expectations when it comes to uh, love partnerships. The focus is on the Ten of Cups and it is important because this can be the higher goal. The type of connection, the type of partnership that is blessed by sincere love and feelings fairness respect reciprocal support this is an encouragement for me the chance to rely on a partnership that can vibe in a ten of cups way can be a source of courage in order to power through the challenges of the journey because we know that life is not just about rainbows and unicorns and maybe this is the type of partnership that some of you and some of your potential new companion have been looking for. The hanged man can be an uncomfortable position, we can agree, but there is a higher purpose that justifies the discomfort. We have the ability to see things in a different perspective, in a different light, so that we can pay attention to those factors that maybe, for whatever reason, we didn't notice before. Patience is needed because the hanged man is an energy that cannot be rushed it takes its own time. It's a divine process. It can lead towards enlightenment. And this can be the energy that even the Nine of Pentacles lady saw. Maybe some of you, single, have been brave enough to embrace. The lady is the primary source of her own satisfaction. She doesn't need anything from anyone. She can take care for herself. No interest whatsoever in codependent connections that can be involved in a five of ones type of energy because a lot of people are talking in this energy. As you may know, people keep talking. They can say what they like. Um, kind of quoting one of the Alicia Keys songs. And so if you are in a nine of pentacles energy you are open to the interactions but you will pay attention to the one that can be able to match virtues values aspirations that are important for you and just like the nine of pentacles lady you are open to interact with a fair companion someone that can be 
this king of wands. The five of wands is just background noise that if you are trying to be with a person and this is the competition that you need to face, you will find a way to set the difference in your favor so that this person can notice. And if the energy unfolds uh, in the reverse, so basically this is the competition to be with some of you, the King of Wands will find a way to prevail because they know how to uh, do so. Nine of Cups, another wish granted energy, satisfaction, the kind of the ability, I would say, to uh, achieve a goal. And to be honest, I love this combination because the King of Wands is ready to take action. He cannot wait to jump off the throne so that he can pursue the goals that he has set his mind to. He knows how to achieve a Nine of Cups energy. And if the Nine of Cups for some of these persons is related to the opportunity to be with some of you guys, they will find a way to beat the competitors. And on the other hand, if you are the one called to face the competition, they will realize that your Nine of Pentacles energy is the type of vibration that can be in alignment with their wishes. This person is fired up in favor of the opportunity to fulfill a desire when it comes to a love partnership that can go the distance. The Eight of Swords can be a tricky energy of the mind, uh, sometimes self-inflicted because the lady is surrounded by swords which are thoughts, questions, doubts, she has no exact perception of a situation. That's why she feels stuck and like there is no way out, but there is a way out. She just needs to go with the water. Feelings, emotions. This can be a matter of sharing love that can be helpful in order to be together. The meeting of the energies, guys, is about an understanding, Queen of Pentacles related, truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords and the opportunity to be successful with the chariot. By the way, as you may know, the chariot for me gets the feeling like wishing upon a star and allowing the star to guide the chariot to the place where it is supposed to be. The promised land is the Ten of Cups. This is the opportunity for two persons to realize that they can be the fair companion for each other and there is the ability and the willingness to take the necessary steps in order to manifest a partnership that can be a fulfilling one, a fair one, a happy one. The Ace of Swords can be the energy of communication that can bring clarity in favor of this connection. The two of you are open in favor of each other because the Queen of Pentacles is a beautiful energy uh, the queen has mastered the self-love ability, which is always a crucial factor, because then we are able to share it with a special person in particular when it comes to love connections. The queen is perceived as a source of advices, words of encouragement, even support, also on a practical level, but she will pay attention to the interactions that can be around her so that she can realize which can be the person deserving of the Ace of Pentacles that she is nurturing. This is a major offer. This can be the token that can facilitate the establishing of the partnership. Ace of Swords being in alignment. The Ace of Swords can be the energy that can free the hanged man from the uncomfortable position. The Ace of Swords can be the clarity that can free the lady in the eight of swords clear communication precise truthful there is trust after all and the star is an energy about transparency the beautiful lady is displaying her true colors completely naked in front of the universe she doesn't care because she is amazing she is calling in the type of opportunities that can be in alignment with her wishes the two of you can resonate you may share 
virtues and values. You may have a common vision about how things should be built so that they can go the distance. And the chariot is the touch of auspicious, positive and optimistic energy that can kind of facilitate the movement forward of this connection. If you share the same vision, you have quite a first step in favor of the manifestation process and you can embrace it hand in hand. So guys, let's pull some Oracle cards for guidance considering these energies. Wisdom of the Oracle deck first and then we will move to the activation. Here we go, two cards. Not for you, which can be an energy that uh, resonates with the competition uh, factor that we have mentioned. If you have multiple suitors, there is a king of wands that can be the one for you and others are not meant to be. And vice versa, if you face other competitors so that you can be with your special king of wands individual. So this is an energy that we need to consider. To be fair, which I love, just this type of vibration, but a fair and fair exchange. There is the ability to bring balance within a situation, a respect also. And it is, it is a set of energies that can resonate with the combination Ace of Swords star. There is honesty after all. And if a person is honest with themselves, it can be honest with a special person that can be by their side. So this can speak definitely to some of you or some of your persons. To the sea, bottom of the deck, an energy that is lovely for me because the fairy lady is trusting the process. She is trusting that the sea will bring her to the place where she is supposed to be. And we have kind of talked about it. A leg up bottom of the to the C card. Reciprocal support, for example. A loving understanding that can pay off because two persons can realize that they resonate quite a lot and there is pleasure to be in each other's company. And this can be an encouragement to build up a lovely partnership. Let's see the activation. Three cards, here we go. Purpose, mentioned it, speaking about the hanged man. Uncomfortable position, we can agree, but with a higher purpose. I know what I am here to do. If you face the competition to be with the king of wands, you will find a way to prevail, allow me to say. The same is valid as a point for the king of wands if they are the one that um, needs to face competition to be with some of you guys. Lovely message. I know what I am here to do. In order to fulfill the Ten of Cups star blessed desire. Acceptance. Well, some of you or some of your persons will have to say yes or will have the chance to say yes to this uh, lovely partnership. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. If there is discomfort because of the competition, we embrace the process and we kind of power through it. Friendship. This can be a friend. Why not? And a friendship can turn into something more. And if the bond is already meaningful, it can be even a little bit easier to take a leap together towards a partnership. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, or maybe a common friend can be helpful in order to manifest this lovely connection. So guys, it's quite an interesting flow. It seems super promising. You have quite a chance if uh, these energies are unfolding in your timeline. Pay attention to the factors that are important for you and in alignment with your virtues and values. But 
if you aim at a star, you have quite a chance to manifest it into reality. And there can be quite a successful partnership that is pending in your favor. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.